get this money from Money Innovation family, what is up? This is me, Brandon, your friend, your neighbor, your host, back with another video from Innovation Property Atlanta. Just doing another reaction video. A lot of good topics out there today. Um, as the car market has definitely changed, uh, the economy definitely is in a weird position. So we'll get jump to the reaction video here in a second. But before we get started today's on today's video, guys, remember to like my video. Subscribe to my channel if you guys don't mind. Hit the notification button. Refer me out to anybody who knows the rest of learn more about rental cars and Turo and ways you all can make money together. Today's reaction video is going to be again with my guy, uh, Car Questions Answered. He has a fantastic YouTube channel following. He's, a, I believe, a used car dealer. Um, has his own lot and everything. So he knows the car used car industry very well. So let's jump into today's video to talk about uh, these used car prices and how everything's going. Mainly, he reviewed a, a, a Dodge Charger. <clears throat> scat pack so let's see how, how those are doing in the in the um in the, uh <clears throat> excuse me in the auctions so you guys get a good idea as far as the prices right now and what things are selling for on the wholesale market so let's jump into it guys probably like 40 percent 40 percent of the cars you have to jump off <laughs> oh that car just bottomed out <laughs> inventory at auctions down repos up. And today I'm going to show you what the dealer actually pays for a Tacoma like this one. What is that? <laughs> Got bids coming in now. Car lots like mine are filling up all across the country. Are the tires sticking out enough for you? And even though prices are coming down, especially on the wholesale level, dealers are still paying way too much for their vehicles. We're rolling out, but we're all the way up to 20 grand again. Late here in this video, are a lot to prepare for it. All right. All right, we check this out. I always like to look at these big uh, Super Duty trucks while we're looking. It's a F-250 XLT. We got some lift, we got some tires. Tires actually are worn down pretty significantly. They're trying to start out at $30,000, no bids. Drop it down 27, there's out. Drop down 26,000, no bids. But it's a 2017, it's got 119,000 miles. There you go, um, outside body. Looks pretty good. Down to 25,000, still no bids. All right, we dropped it down to $19,000. They're rolling it out. No rust, no rust. That's so what I like to see. But overall, looks pretty good. Um, definitely will need tires though. Not actually sure if they've got a bid or not yet. All right, inside. Oh, oh, oh. Outside definitely looks way better than the inside. That's rough, 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 rough. Rough is what I'm trying to say, but it is nasty, nasty, nasty. Definitely has been worked in. But there you go. We'll check this out, see what it brings. All right, they had a bid, and it was at $19,000, and they put it on an if bid. Probably not getting done if they're trying to start it out at 30 grand. All right, and for those of you that don't know, a phone call or an if bid is when, oh, car coming out. Gotta watch out. Lost my train of thought. A phone call or an if bid is when the. the Oh, that car just bottomed out. Wow, wow, wow. It's low. It's low. Woo. I don't know if you heard that. That was loud. So if you can't tell a lot going on at auction all at one time, I think low, isn't it? <laughs> I will finish this statement. Phone call or an if bid means that the amount of money brought in lane that the bidders went up to did not meet the reserve or the minimum price that a seller is willing to take, and they will actually negotiate after the auction's done to try to meet somewhere in the middle, but they can't get it done in lane at this moment. So they try to uh, basically make a phone call after the auction and try to get the deal done. All right, here we go. Always like to check these out. All right, y'all. So this is the part of the video I want you guys to pay attention to for, especially for me, because I'm a, I got a, a Dodge Charger in my, my fleet and reality is, even though I did previous videos on the Charger getting stolen, and the chargers that you know tend to attract a certain crowd, they do very well um, on the Turo and rental car market. So let's get a good idea how this scat pack does. He's looking at. So let's review this uh, this scat blue scat pack here. Let's jump into it. When I see them, 
There you go. You got a scat pack. It's a 2021. It's got 31,000 miles on it. All right, here we go. Here's the scat pack. I'm trying to start at uh, 23,000. There's a 392. Looks like this panel, this is definitely not lining up. There's a gap there. So I don't know if it's been hit in that particular area, but just keep that in mind whenever we're checking the price on this. We dropped it down to 21,000. But uh, other than that, the outside body looks good. It doesn't look like it's been painted on that other side, but it's definitely not lining up. So you can actually see it if, if you look down that line, you can see where that, that front uh, panel is actually sticking out. All right, inside, inside is, uh, could use a vacuum, but it's not torn up. Actually, it is uh, missing that uh, panel that goes over the top of that. So there you go. Um, overall, not in terrible shape. Two issues with it, or that panel sticking out, and then that uh, cover where the where the gear shifter is. Oh, actually, all the way up to $23,000 already. And they put on a phone call. I think there's only one bid, one bid, twenty. $3,000 and put on it. So this guy, he actually helps get all of these cars. So let's talk about that for auction. a second, guys. So if I'm not mistaken, he said it got down to 21. I think it sold for 23, if I heard that correctly. Um, and this also might be a good time to share information or you know somebody has a, a dealer's license to get cars for wholesale a lot cheaper compared to going to a, a you know a big um, car dealership and paying retail prices. Because if I'm not mistaken, he said that was a 2020 Dodge Charger Scat Pack which is a very popular car, very popular engine. And it had about 30,000 miles on it and it went for 23,000, if I'm not mistaken, he said, or 21,000, which is a bargain. Brand new, that car is probably about 40, 45,000. So you're already getting $20,000 $20, off the retail price for MSRP. And it didn't look too bad as far as any damage. Um, he pointed out something might have been in a car accident, it had some gaps in the door. Um, but overall, the body looked pretty decent. Um, the inside didn't look too beat up, so it probably will only cost maybe a, a thousand or two to rehab or get back to where it needs to get back to. So all in all, you could walk away with twenty five thousand uh, dollars for a 2020 scat back. That's an amazing deal. That car on Turo or rental car fleet depends if you do private rentals can easily run out for two hundred, two hundred and fifty a night, depends on the season and where you're located at. So those are great deals that you might be able to find at a uh, at a used car auction. Um, so that's that's good information, guys. So let's do a little bit more um, in the video and see what else he, he has coming up or talking about in this video. So what what is really what's what's your job when you're when you're going out there to lot? What are you looking for? We go to the dealer, we pick up the keys, yeah. and then we're trying to find the cars around the lot, and then we just deliver them to the auction. And that's it. There's a loud truck one behind us. So when you're here at the auction, you're out there. Uh, what kind of things do you have to make sure are, are running well? Or, I mean, uh, do a situation like this where the car just neutrals out, you got to push it through. What other kind of situations are you having to deal with? Well, sometimes they're out of gas. Sometimes yep. transmission is bad. Sometimes just reverse is working. So different types of cars, different problems. How many cars? Do you feel like you have to you have to jump off every auction? Probably like forty percent of the forty percent of the cars you have to jump off. And here's a repo that's going through the auction right now. They just announced that salvage, which is pretty obvious, because about twenty percent of the car is not there. And this is a two. 14, it's got 176,000 miles. It's at $600. Auctioneer just said $600 for the whole car, but you know what? It's not actually the whole car. It's up to $800. It only brought $800, and uh, they just said no, can't sell it for that. Just to show you on that uh, charger that just went out, dealers don't want that kind of stuff. It, only, it brought almost no money and still there was no dealers that even wanted to raise their hand on it so they didn't sell it it's a repo it looks nasty it hasn't been taken care of it's missing parts of the car dealers don't want that they don't even want to spend the time the energy that it's going to take to get that car back to where they can actually sell it here's a good one all right guys so that's today's quick reaction video again shout out to my guy car questions answered um, did a good job breaking down how to how the auction works and what kind of cars you can find in the auction. That uh, repo 14 uh, Charger looked crazy, so that, I'm guessing that would probably cost anywhere from, you know, five, six, seven thousand dollars to get back into decent condition, even put it on somebody's lot to sell. But again, the takeaway from this video, guys, is remember use your resources. You guys know anybody that has a used car dealership license and go to auctions with them, you might be able to find better deals uh, for your Turo fleet versus going to retailer or going to the big. Uh, dealership like CarMax or Dodge or 
or a um, Ford or GM dealership. So um, that's today's quick reaction video, guys. You guys tune into the next video. I'm going to try to do about three or four of these a week. Um, it's a lot of good data out there. I like to give my input and just give my two cents when it comes to this used car market and also, you know, how this process works, you know, the rental car fleets and how you guys are running your fleet. Any questions, tap in. Uh, leave questions, comments in the comment box. Calendar's up to date. You guys want to get on my calendar to talk about your rental car fleet, and then we'll go from there to the next video, guys. You guys have a good day.